Hi, my name is Albert Barajas and this is the Spotlight video for NIPS Paper 611, a multi-batch LBFGS method for machine learning. This is joint work with Professor Nosedal at Northwestern University and Professor Takac at Lehigh University. In this paper, we present a novel variant of the LBFGS method that is robust and efficient in two settings. First, in the presence of node failures in a distributed implementation, and second, in a multi-batch framework where a different batch is used at every iteration. The proposed method avoids the pitfalls of using inconsistent gradient differences by performing quasi-Newton updates on the overlap between consecutive samples. We present numerical results that demonstrate the efficiency of the method in practice and also provide a convergence analysis that illustrates the theoretical properties of the method. Before talking about the method, let's take a step back and look at the problem we are trying to solve. We consider the minimization of a finite sum in the regime where both n and d are large. In this regime, it is common to either distribute the gradient computation or to use a subset of the data at every iteration. The idea of our proposed method is to use a sizable sample at every iteration and perform quasi-Newton steps. The two settings described above are similar in certain ways. An issue that arises in both settings is the fact that the samples used at the beginning and at the end of every iteration may differ. In the distributed setting, this is a result of the faults that may arise and in the multi-batch setting, different samples arise by default. This leads to gradient inconsistency, which can potentially be harmful to the quasi-Newton updates. The goal of this paper is to show that stable quasi-Newton updating can be achieved without incurring extra computational cost or special synchronization. The key to our approach is control sampling, by which we mean that consecutive samples, or the samples used at consecutive iterations, should overlap. And overlapping consecutive samples can be enforced in the multi-batch setting or expected in the distributed setting with faults. This overlap allows for stable quasi-Newton updates as the gradient differences can be computed on the same samples. In this slide, we show the general form of the proposed algorithm. The iterates are updated via equation 1, where alpha k is the step length, gksk is the sample gradient, and hk is the inverse LBFGS Hessian approximation. To ensure consistent curvature pairs, the gradient differencing is computed on the overlapping samples only, as shown in equation 2. We now show the performance of the multi-batch LBFGS method on the WebStorm dataset in both the fault-tolerant and multi-batch settings. In the fault-tolerant setting, we observe that enforcing sample consistency provides more stable updates. In the multi-batch framework, we illustrate the performance of the proposed method for various sample sizes R and overlap sizes O. Similar behavior was observed on other standard machine learning datasets. These results can be found in the appendix of our paper. There are several details that we have not talked about in the Spotlight video. These include some algorithm-specific details, the convergence analysis, more numerical results, and the strong and weak scaling properties of our proposed method. For more details, please visit the following link or email me at this address. If you're attending NIPS this year in Barcelona, please stop by our poster. Monday, December 5th, 6 to 9.30 p.m., poster number 13. Thank you very much.